test, test, test. Hi, just a quick comparison today between Blender and 3D Studio Max. This is one of the main things people find very confusing when learning Blender, and likewise if they're going from Blender to other 3D packages they might find um, it confusing as well. So <coughs> let's imagine we've opened this Blender scene and it's got five boxes. If you're a new user to Blender, you're going to notice this box is selected. Obviously it's got the crosshairs. And Okay, I'm going to want to select this box. So I left click and nothing happens. And all that happens is this weird cursor target thing from a 1980s game. Looks like a 1980s game comes up. So <coughs> yeah, so that's really annoying. And what you'll soon get to realize it's you have to right click to select. Let's contrast that with 3D Studio Max and other, other packages such as Maya. I've got 3D Studio Max open and immediately left click it seems much more intuitive. Yeah. Um, having said that I'm used to the right click in Blender now because it's a bit like a learning different foreign languages. Yeah. So as soon as I have Blender open I know in my mind I have the sort of pattern recognition to you know, right click to select. Um, if you really, really find this annoying, you go to user preferences up here. It's very easy to change. User preferences, go to input and select width, this bit here, left, save changes, go back to 3D view, and now, as if by magic, you can left click in the same way as 3D Studio Max. Okay, so there you go, and that weird target is a right click, um, but that's another lesson. Um, I would say, um, personally, I would try to get used to the um, the right click to select, okay? Because there are some reasons for this. Yeah, there's special reasons why Blender uses this this method, which is I, I know the arguments for it. It's fairly fairly reasonable. I'll try and include a link to um, a good video that somebody's made about that. Okay, that's it. No more. Okay. Um, any any comments, questions, etc. Let me know and check out my website www.jamesableart for more tutorials and my own artwork and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more stuff like this. S hope to speak later. Cheers. Bye.